So I wrote a poem about yesterday's events. And due to the man who lost his life, I'm calling it George Floyd. I'm tired. I hope you enjoy. I'm tired. Every day it's something new in the press. People tell jokes like life's a good jest and this happens. And I see black people pressed and leaders not doing their jobs right, causing unrest within our communities. People depressed, jobs digress, marriages stretch, yet America acts untouched, acting like a DJ Khaled chant, we're the best. Like people's lives at stake. <laughs> it's a fucking contest. Because the only thing in the world making progress is chaos. While we take in overly processed news meant to calm everyone down and it rouse us all up. I'm tired, man. I'm so tired. Another black man murdered again. I swear to God, let another white person tell me to calm down and I'm running fade on sight and leave you crooked like the barber they call can't get right. Tell me again how we should overturn the police. Tell me again that it's our government. You're wrong, okay? It's hateful as white people, period. And I'm not surprised. America doesn't ask for forgiveness for its sins. Mm -mm. It just denies and it brings up its wins, right? I told y'all I'm talking cheap that the world has been sitting on its ass waiting for destruction lately. That people are talking with large mouths like they're ready to scream. Like the, that the chaos grows, but no one knows what it all really means. <laughs> you may have thought I was kidding, but I wasn't. And now that's all I see in the world. The cop kneeled on his neck. He killed him and his partner sat there and watched like it was a collision course. He couldn't stop through the whole wreck. They watched the last breath of a man escape from his lips and felt no regard. They wonder why black people are so on guard. And then another Karen calling the police when she was in the wrong. It's such a Karen thing when the Karen thing would have been to be wise instead of looking like a fool who can't correctly carry a being. I'm glad she got what she got. But what would be the cherry on top is if she was ticketed or arrested for trying to call an officer on the spot for being the Karen she was being. Scratch that. The cherry on top would actually be this never happening. But when you're white, that's what happens. You can call the police and get a few cops in the street to help you be the vindictive pricks you are of such. It's your fear and hatred that shows me you are our demons. Then when everything hit the spotlight, Karen got quite shy and tried to pull out the white tears like everything was all right. Sorry, let me repeat that again. Then when everything hit the spotlight, Karen got quite shy and tried to pull out the white tears card like everything was alt right. Palms sweaty, knees weak, arms heavy from the scene, yet skinny like mom spaghetti. See, <laughs> I can make a joke too. But isn't anyone else tired and ready? Ready to take black lives seriously. Ready to, to, to legit love us. Ready to treat us like we're your equal and not your steady footing. Because from how you treat us, you think my hands and feet were at the mercy of being the legs of pedestal, of your pedestal, and my hair being the cushion to your seat. But you got me beat if you think I'd ever let you take a seat on this beautiful queen. I'm tired, man. And it just doesn't end. It keeps going. I'm tired of giving you excuses. I'm tired of posting what's right and what's wrong. I'm so tired. When will it end? Hmm? When black people grab arms and grab pistols and guns. When citizens are holding each other for dear life, for equality, but instead fall out in the run. As the bullets ricocheting from black people's guns be ready to hit straight to, for the brain and call it square one? When will this world get it? I don't think it ever will. So when it starts, I'll say I told you so. Tell you how the Bible did reference this long ago as well as nihilist. 
saying destruction is the only future in our path. I guess it's the only way to get peace amongst the mass. I hate that that's the future, but I may have to grasp. But I'm not surprised after all. This is the world we live in. And I'm tired. I'm so tired of it all. 